everybody. Uh, today we'll be doing our pinwheel craft and this is one I made earlier. Um, nice colours and it's got its lovely straw in the back and these will look great in the garden. So in your kits you will have had uh, a piece of paper with a nice pattern on one side and it's plain on the other. You'll have a nice paper straw, different colours. Um, a split pin which is used to hold it all together. Um, in the house I need you to find a pen or a pencil, some scissors, a ruler is quite helpful but it is not necessarily um, and some, some glue. So we're going to start by folding our piece of paper. So you're going to bring one corner down to the other corner. Fold it in half like that and run your finger along that line. And then you're going to open it up. Then you're going to pull the other corner to the other corner and fold that in half. Run your fingers down that line and open it up. So now you'll see you've got this cross in the middle, gives you nice centre there. So this is where uh, the ruler comes in handy. So you need to cut down the lines until I would say about five centimetres. So you want to leave five centimetres in the middle. So you can go around, do a little dot, do a little dot. So once you've got those dots marked out, use your scissors to cut down the folded line until you get to that dot. So like that. And do that all the way round. And you'll have kind of like this shape. Now we're going to fold in every other point. So we're going to fold one down. And this is where the glue comes in handy because otherwise, if you let go, it just pops away. So just use your Pritt stick, pop a tiny bit on the end and stick it down. So you don't want to fold this or flatten this because you want that nice round curved bit. That's what catches the wind. So you've done this point. Now you'll do this point. Oh, can't get it. So you're missing one there. I'm going to pop the pin down as well. Then you're going to miss this one and lift this one. A little bit of glue on it. So get the final one. Stick that down. So you have that pinwheel shape. Now we've got this lovely pinwheel shape, we're going to use our split pin. So it splits like that. It's quite hard to show the camera. So you want to squeeze it together and pop it through the paper. See, that's a bit tough, isn't it? So the handy trick here is to get your scissors and just do a little snip. And pop it through the hole. So that goes a lot easier. And my gluey bits have come up. I think we need more glue. So now you have the pin all the way through. So once you've got the pin wheel and the split pin through, you can put it through the straw in the hole that you may have made earlier. So you push it through like that. You just want to bend down the ends of the split pin, but not a lot. 
because you still want to give it that freedom to move around in the wind. 